Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, and here's how I made a water pump. I use SolidWorks and the TLAR method of design. My proof of concept pump just attached to a drill. I didn't worry about sealing it or anything, and I even had to use duct tape to hold the hose on. You can see that it works really well though, and it puts out an astonishing amount of water for what it is. I printed all the parts on a CraftBot Plus. I had an old Radio Shack 9 to 18 volt high speed motor that I wanted to use. This motor is really common and it's plenty powerful. Now in order to seal the motor from the water, I used some red grease around the shaft and the mounting screws. Then I pressed the impeller into place on the shaft. For a snug fit, I dimensioned my parts 10 thou bigger than the shaft. To seal the impeller cover, I used some blue monster thread sealant, but I've also used grease with great success. It doesn't really matter for this part anyway. Now anytime I'm spinning one 3D part inside another, I never go less than 20 thousandths of the clearance between the two. I used an old vacuum cleaner cord for the power and tin the leads before soldering the wires to the motor terminals. Forcing the wire through my motor case was difficult, as it should be, but I'm going to seal it anyway. Then I also used thread sealant to seal the motor casing to the pump casing. Some long screws held it all together for a nice industrial finished look. Now I wouldn't recommend thread sealant on the cord, because it never really sets and doesn't flex. I used Aqua Seal for my wetsuit repair and it worked better. My next pump's cord will be sealed with something like Plasti Dip or Flex Seal though. And a set screw in the back holds the wire in place. And now for a demonstration. Well I'm going to make a few more of these for various projects now and you'll see them coming shortly. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.